Okay, so for this project, we're gonna need um, some yarn. So we're gonna need red, green, and white yarn, all weight four. And so that'll be for the strawberry hat and earrings. And then this yarn scraps or any kind of stuffing is for the strawberry earrings when we fill them up. Um, a pair of scissors and some needles for when we put the seeds on. And we're also gonna need a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so you're gonna start off with your red weight four yarn. Take your crochet hook, insert it in, and you're gonna create a magic circle. And inside the magic circle, um, we're going to do a chain three. So one, two, three. And inside, you're going to put your hook in 12, uh, 13 times and you're going to do 13 double crochets. So you have one, two, all the way up to 13. So once you have your 13 double crochets on there, you can take that little tail end piece um, from the magic circle and kind of tug on it to tighten it. So it'll become kind of circle, cir become kind of circular. And then you're going to put your crochet needle into the very first double crochet that we did, not the chain three, into the first double crochet. You're going to pull through like that, do another chain three. And then do double crochets all the way, but you're going to do two, two double crochets into each stitch. So I'm going to do one, two, yeah. And then so at the end of this second row, you're going to have a total of 26 double crochets. Okay, so I just finished my second row, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert my hook into the very first double crochet, not the chain three. And I'm going to pull through with a slip stitch, pull through again, and going on to row three with the chain three. And this time we're going to do, we're gonna do two double crochets in each stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this pattern. So this one has two double crochets. The next stitch is gonna have one double crochet. Next stitch has two. So that's one, two in that stitch. And then the next one has one. So we're gonna continue this pattern of two, one, two, one, all the way around. Okay, so I finished row three, and so after this row where you did the two, one, two, one, you're gonna have a total of 39 stitches. And then you're gonna go back to that first stitch, insert, and do a slip stitch, pull through both of those. And now we're gonna continue on to row four. And yeah, you continue with the chain three again. So row four, we're gonna do a double crochet, two double crochets in the first one. And then for the next two, we're gonna do one. So I'm going to do one, and then another one again. So this time the pattern is going to be two double crochets, and then one one. So continue that going around. All right, I just finished row four. You should have a total of 52 double crochets. Now, starting with the next row, we're going to slip stitch, um, crochet um, three chains. And then we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch. And then the next three stitches, we're only going to put one double crochet into each one. So that's one, there's the second one, and then a third one. So this is the pattern we're going to be using for this one. We're going to start with two double crochets, and then one, two, three double crochets. And those are going to be like single layer. Yeah, so do that all the way around for this, this row. Okay, so I just finished row number five. We're going to move on to row number six. And then do the slip stitch, chain three. And so this row, this is going to be our last row of increases, and it's going to be one, one um, every 13 um, stitches. So we're going to start off with two double crochets in the first one, and then we're going to do 13 um, just normal double crochets. And then on the 14th one, you're going to do another double crochet. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like when I get there. All right, so over here, I did that one stitch with two double crochets in it, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, of singles in each stitch. And I'm gonna do two double crochets in this one. And you're gonna go around and do that. And um, when you get to kind of the end of it, you're gonna see that there's not kind of enough, like towards the end over here, you're gonna see that there's not really enough room for like 13 and 13. So you can just um, just make sure you put it, um, still put a double crochet somewhere in there, two double crochets somewhere in there, no matter like how small the space over here is. So yeah. 
Okay, so I just finished this row and I kind of put needles in as kind of markers to show you where each, um, where we put two double crochets into. So as you can see, we have five total and they're all kind of like evenly spaced throughout. So it's kind of like as long as you have this, um, then you should be fine. So now we are going to just do one double crochet into each stitch until we have a total of 14 rows. So, so far we have six rows, so that means we need eight more rows without any increases, just normal double crochet. So I'll see you when I finish. Okay, so I just finished my 14th row, so I have 14 rows in total, and now what we're going to do, um, do a slip stitch, and we're going to kind of slip it off, but um, when you uh, do this, make sure you don't tighten it too much, because when you do the green rim, we're going to, we're going to put it um, starting in here. Before we do that, we're going to start um, by putting the seeds on, so what you need for this, you need your needles. Um, I think the ones with the dull tip are better, so you don't like poke yourself while you're doing it, and you're going to need white yarn. Um, you can grab like two feet of it, something like that. And if it's not long enough, it's okay because we can we can add more as we go on. So it'll be fine. I'll show you guys how to do that later. So yeah, thread it through the needle. And we're going to start from the third row up. So we have row, row, and then this row, the third one. You can start really just anywhere. And start from the bottom of a double crochet from here. You're gonna pull the yarn through and you're gonna go through at the top again and we're gonna do two stitches for each double crochet so here i did one so now we have just have one string there and we're gonna do it one more time that was kind of two that'll make the seeds look a bit fuller and when we tie it off we're gonna flip it and go to the inside and we're gonna tie these two strings together just like a normal little knot there and if this part is too long you can just trim it and it'll be fine now um so see um for the first row we're gonna do we're gonna count five double crochets and then six and i'll show you what that means so i just did one here and i'm gonna do one two three four five so my next one is gonna be on the sixth stitch so i'll have one two three four five in between so i'll, I'll show you what that looks like and there is really no set way to do this you can really do this however you like um, this is just how I do it, so I just thought I'd show you guys. Perfect, so that was five. So you can see that, one, two, three, four, five. Now, the next one, we're gonna do six in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna put it in the seventh stitch right here. Just like that. And you're going to kind of continue this pattern all the way. It might not be like exactly perfect, but it should be pretty close. And you, know, you can't really tell when you're wearing it. And then I'll show you guys how to continue when you run out of white yarn. Okay, so I just reached the spot where I'd have no more white yarn. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut another piece of white yarn um, about the same length. Usually I do this around like three times for each hat. But yeah, so I'm going to take my white yarn and I'm going to tie it to the end of this thread. Just kind of like a double knot there. Perfect. And then you can just continue as usual. So I'll put my needle back in. And keep going. And then you can do this like as many times as needed. And if the threads are too long, you can just kind of trim them off. So yeah, that's how you do it. And then just kind of work your way all the way up to the top. Okay, so I just did my first row of seeds, and when you go on to your second row, you're again just going to skip two rows and go on to like the third row. So I just ended over here, so I'm going to go one, two, up in this row. And you just kind of want to place the stitch in between kind of where these two stitches are. And these you can kind of just like improvise, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can also follow that like 565 five pattern that I did for the other row. And so yeah, that's kind of how it's going to be for the first two rows, but then for the third row, that's on the row where we did an increase, so it'll be a little weird, so I'll show you guys how to do that one as well. But yeah, you're just going to keep going and just place them in between those two seeds. Alright, so that's two rows, and I'm going to do my third row on this one, right, because we're skipping two rows and doing it here. And since the hat is kind of like getting a little smaller at the top, we want to decrease the number of seeds at the top. So for this row, we're going to do one seed every eighth stitch. So we're going to have seven gaps between each seed. So I'm just going to start over here and we'll do two stitches. 
and I'm going to have seven between them. So it's going to be every eighth with seven between them. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to do it in the eighth one. And it's going to look kind of weird. As you can see, like this one isn't exactly in the middle, but it, it looks fine when you're wearing it. So you can, don't worry about it. So yeah, every seventh one. Or every every eighth one, every and seven gaps between them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is gonna go right here. And yeah, just go like that all the way around. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover because it was a little loud, but we're doing the last row of seeds here. We're gonna do the thing where we skip two rows and put our seeds in that third row. Um, in this row, you're going to be placing six seeds. It doesn't really matter like the distance, but I did um, like five or six. I think I switched between those two. But as long as they look equidistant from each other, it should be fine. Um, these seeds, you can kind of improvise it a little bit. Um, this is also the top of the hat, so most people won't see it. And so I just want to show you guys like what it kind of looks like um, while you're doing the top. You know, you're just, it's pretty simple simple I, I would say you know you're just kind of putting them however you like but again if you want to you know do it how I do it I think I interchange between five and six so like um, like five stitches put a, a seed and then six stitches and then put a seed you know um, as you can see it looks like a little wonky but you know as long as as long as they look pretty equidistant you should be fine um, but yeah hopefully yours is looking all right at this point um, but yeah, you just kind of keep doing that. Okay, so as you can see, I finished putting in those six seeds, and now we're going to go ahead and just kind of finish off the seeds, right? So we're going to tie it off. Um, so over here, I'm just kind of going back to like where I threaded it through, and I'm just going to tie like a knot there. Um, you know, you just want to keep it secure so that way, you know, like none of the seeds fall out. And... Yeah, I think it can be a little confusing, but you know, as long as it stays secure, whatever you do should be fine. If you want to even like use some glue to make sure like the, the knot doesn't come undone, you can do that as well. Um, but I find that uh, a double knot you just work fine. And you can go ahead and yeah, trim the white yarn and your top of the hat is done. So now we'll go ahead and start the, the bottom part, the, the green leaves. Okay, so Remember, we, I, I told you guys earlier not to do this loop too tight when you finish the red part, um, and that's because we're going to stick our needle into that loop, right? So like, undo that loop, stick your needle in, and we're going to kind of thread our green yarn through. So stick your, stick your needle in, um, hook onto the green yarn, pull through, and kind of tighten that red tail behind it so that your green yarn stays secure. Then you're going to go ahead and chain three. Um, and I think it's kind of convenient to tie this red and green strings together just so that way, you know, nothing falls apart. Um, so I'm double knotting them. And after you do that, you're going to kind of tuck those into your stitches. And we're going to do two double crochets in this stitch. Um, and it's going to be in that first stitch. And then you're going to do one double crochet. And that's going to be the pattern. So we're going to put two double crochets in this one. And then we're going to put um, one in the next one. So it's going to be two, one, two, one. So you're going to continue that pattern for um, one row. And after you finish, we're going to start our second row of the green leaves. Go ahead and do a slip stitch and then chain three. And then we want it to kind of have that frill. So we're going to do two double crochets for the next five stitches. So there's one. I put two in that one. I'm going to put two in this one. I'm going to put two in the third one. Two in the fourth one. And then two in the fifth one. Um, and then after you do all of that, you're going to just do one double crochet in the sixth one. Um, so as you see, there's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's that one single. So you're gonna do that pattern all the way through for the second one, and once you're done with that, you're basically done with the hat. Um, and all that's left now for us to do is to do our last slip stitch. 
um, and you can go ahead and cut your string. And now, oh yeah, tighten it a bit and then just go ahead and start weaving it in. Um, so I grabbed a smaller hook. If you don't have one, it should be fine. I've done it with a larger hook. But you're gonna go in. Um, there's really no right way to do this. You know, you just wanna just um, pull that string in so it doesn't kind of fall out. Um, if you want, you know, you can try to kind of try and follow the method that I'm doing. But again, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, just as long as it looks nice and neat. So yeah, and if you find that, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, tuck all of it in, you can kind of leave a little excess and just trim it off. You just want to try and make sure that it's secure. That's basically what you want to do. Um, I also went ahead and did the one from that little tail from our magic circle we did in the beginning. Um, you don't have to do this because, you know, you'll be kind of hiding it when you wear it. But if you want to, um, totally up to you. And yeah, you are done with the hat. So yeah, hope you guys like this tutorial. <laughs> Seemed out a bit too far there. <laughs>